this is the aquarium that I'm going to replace. Um, I'm going to try and get as many of the plants and things. It's got a lot of problems. Way too close to a window. It gets some morning light. And uh, the fish sort of outscale this 20 gallon tank. Um, so I've got this guy. I've got a rainbow and a Raphael catfish. And they're all going into the 56 gallon. Along with this giant uh, Anubis here. And a couple of other little plants. So I have to, uh, hopefully this light, it's got two 65 watt compact fluorescent bulbs. That should be enough to get me started and I'll move up to something else. I'd like to save some of the substrate, but I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do that since I'm going to have to let this other tank cycle. Anyway, here's the 20 gallon just before I get rid of it. One good way to tell about how much of the substrate you're going to need depending on the depth just to take the bags and lay them, lay them down. You see I've got a different I've got a floor max. I'm going to put it in the very bottom of the tank. And I've got this uh, eco-complete planted aquarium and I'm going to put it on top. So I've sort of tentatively laid out all the bags that I'm going to use. And I've got one extra just in case it's not quite enough. And I just picked up what I think is just a terrific piece of driftwood. And you can't tell much in here, but it'll be in the tank soon enough. I, for this particular aquarium, I had to find one that would fit within this. And this is just about the perfect size, exactly what I was looking for. Eco-Complete comes with uh, bacteria, and it comes wet, so you don't have to rinse it at all. And uh, that's what I'll be adding next. Alright, I got this bag open and uh, I'm just going to add the liquid and all. Whew, that's kind of an odd smell to it. Five more bags. I don't know if you can tell, but what I'm trying to do is do a gradient so that it gets a little taller at the top than it is in the front. I'll give it a little extra depth. We looked all over for a great piece of wood. And I finally found some today at the aquarium store. This is a uh, Malaysian driftwood. It's quite a large piece. To get something like this mailed to you, sometimes it's $30 or $40. And a lot, you can't really get a feel for uh, the real size of it. This one happens to fit well in here. I'll have to play with its placement a little bit. Should we go ahead and provide some caves for my shy fish? So, Sean, what are you exactly doing? Well, I've gone and I've gotten, uh, i filled up a lot of the water, not, not a whole lot, but just enough to kind of get the plants into the ground. And right now I'm transferring some plants out of the old tank into this new one. Got some grasses, some Anubis. Interesting. What do you plan to put in this tank other than, you know, plants and food? Fish, I imagine. Well, what kind of fish is my question? 
Well, I'm going to start with the fish I have. And then if the there's more fish? room, then I'll add another fish, too. Interesting. Wow, having a lot of substrate really makes a difference when it goes, comes time to trying to bury these roots. Well, it's approximately a week since I planted. Uh, since I put the plants in and filled the water up, of course, it immediately went cloudy. And uh, really, unless you trickle the water in, there's no way to avoid that. Uh, I've added a black background, uh, you know, just a standard paper type. And I've added a heater in the back. I have an E Series uh, Fluple heater. I've added a filter. This filter actually has run for several weeks on my uh, on my other tank, my 55. So uh, it's got lots of biological. I can't remember. I bought these plants so long ago. Uh, I cannot remember what exactly the species is. I know some of them are crypt when daddy and uh, of course, they melted away. They'll come back. Yeah, you can see this one just has one leaf sticking up. This is like this little lifeline. It'll start sprouting new leaves here anytime now soon. Hopefully. And these others, I think, are another species of crypt. Some of them. Uh, I've added some grass that I have in a lot of my other tanks to grow really well. And they get really tall, so that'll work for this column. And hopefully this will all fill in before too long. I started them in the very back, so I'm hoping they'll kind of fill in here and here. I added this other stem plant just the other day. Ancaris, I believe is what it's called. And eh, I haven't had too much luck with them before, but we'll see. A lot of people like them, so I thought I'd check it out. All right, so I found a better piece of driftwood, and I think what I'm gonna do is substitute it for this one, since this one's, uh, this one's looking a little nappy, so. I'm going to change it out now. It's uh, taking out the log. Oh, that's very good. That should be a nice little cave area. Mm-hmm. So where is it going to be set? Place what I just took out. Let's see. Success. Now we won't know until we pick up light over it. Let's see. Wow. Hey, apart from all the stuff I've stirred up, it's pretty good. Well, the 56 gallon's looking a little rough today. I just finished cleaning the glass, all the algae and stuff, and of course scared everybody to death. The, uh, the rainbows seem to be doing a little better with the aggression. Uh, let's see, they're still picking at each other a little bit. Adding, uh, adding almost a school, the extra three there, three females and two males, seem to help a little bit. And for the most part, they're they're pretty nice to each other. Um, the first couple of weeks, in any planted tank, you get this brown algae, as you can see there on the back of the aquarium, and it gets on everything. I've just cleaned it off the glass. Uh, some of the slow-growing plants are definitely affected by it. You can see it there. But the trick is just try not to get discouraged. A lot of this will just kind of go away on its own. I don't have any sucker fish that that like to eat that stuff, so... And this guy who's hiding in the back will eat most of the things that I put in there, so... Uh, this plant's doing really well. It's grown a lot. It was just a tiny little plant when I first put it in. And this one's actually doing really well. These are both plants I haven't owned before that I'm pretty excited to see how they turn out. Right.
I've decided I'm kind of bored with this substrate. It's nice, but it's just all black. I'm going to add some small pebbles, especially to cover some of the root areas that didn't seem to get as much coverage. And uh, it'll also kind of change the layout just a little bit, just enough to make it a little more interesting to look at on the bottom while the plants grow in. So I'm going to start adding that now. This may be a little hard to see, but this is what I got. Uh, they're just small pebbles. And they're pretty interesting. Uh, it's just dark enough not to clash too much, but uh, it should pop out a little bit in the corners where I'm going to put it. so it's been several weeks since I set up the aquarium and as you can see some of the plants are growing quite well this large plant has uh, surprised me quite a bit with its growth it actually started out as just a small little bulb uh, if you look at the base of it there and I've just planted another one and so if you see the little sprouts going out the top that is that's how it started out and then it just grew into this much larger plant and this other one I think this is a Vesuvius sword it's starting to send out runners so it's doing very well too all the fish seem happy 